Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I um, am offering this amendment to direct the Secretary of Homeland Security to issue a report to this committee on seven of the most violent Mexican drug cartels and the degree to which they conform to the statutory definition of foreign terrorist organizations under 8 U.S.C. Section 1189 and the definition of international terrorism under 18 U.S.C. Section 2331. Under federal law, an act of terrorism is a, an act committed to intimidate or coerce a civilian population, to influence the policy of a government, or to affect the conduct of a government by assassination or kidnapping. In my view, the Mexican drug cartels fall squarely within this definition. They use car bombs, display murdered individuals, body mutilations, beheadings, death threats to school teachers for wages, and the list goes on and on. Uh, we've all, on a weekly basis, hear about the uh, gruesome killings in Mexico, some of which has come into this country. The administration defines the Mexican DTOs as the greatest organized crime threat to the United States uh, today. In fact, um, the Mexican President Felipe Calderon after the Casino uh, Royale fire, called them terrorists. He described the violence in his country as a challenge to the state and an attempt to replace the state. Additionally, we know from the FBI just recently that the drug cartels are present in over a thousand cities here in the United States. As we saw with the Iranian plot made yesterday, even the Iranian, Iranian operatives view the cartels as potential fellow terrorists capable and willing to commit political assassinations and bombings here in the United States. To me, it's, it's clear. We're dealing with a grave threat south of our border that we're not paying attention to. And my amendment simply just requires the Secretary to look at this problem, to look at the drug cartels, to determine whether they fall within the definition of terrorists. And with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.